Okay, we got one here. You lose, Sonic. Ah, this is arm wrestle, guys. Okay, I'll save that for later. Let me guess. Behold the mighty Numa, and I am his apprentice. Way to spoil my fun. The mighty Numa breaks the necks of bulls, bends iron bars, defeats everyone. Numa. The hell? His secret lies in the mushrooms and herbs cultivated in Elanda and picked in the mornings by virgin priestesses. They can be yours for a very reasonable price. <laughs> okay, sure. What the hell is he talking about? I don't remember any Numa. Well, fine, yeah. Okay, so he's got a bunch of potion recipes. Don't really care about and about uh, ingredients, but it's fine. I can sell stuff to him. Here we go. Uh, I can sell some armor. <laughs> I can actually sell. I oh, know it's not worth anything. It doesn't weigh anything either, so I'll keep Sadkirk's armor. Uh, so these. And let's sell Fate. So this one. I'm gonna keep this one for now. I'll see what I do with it. I should have just. No, this. I, yeah, I keep forgetting. It doesn't weigh anything. And uh, right, so that's about as much as I can get rid of myself, I think. Well, I can sell some of these trophies. There we go. That helped a bit. Oh, well, well, we also got these mooted chance, which I still haven't used at all. I guess I'll use them at some point. Okay, so... God, there's so much stuff to see here. At Who are your you? Service. Nobody. Greetings. Is this a merchant? Aha. Uh -huh. I'm collecting information. The Wild Hunt. A retinue of wraiths who speed across the heavens upon skeletal horses. Positive proof of its existence has yet to be proffered. However, no one is prepared to deny... Okay, she just... Oh, I see Vernon behind her. This world. Proffered. Sorties. That, at least, is what I remember yeah. from the letters. <laughs> she doesn't know anything. She knows how to roll dice anyway. She's got some books and some more diagrams, I guess. Just a bunch of crap. Really nothing I need now that uh, it's the last chapter. Okay, let's talk to Vernon. Ready for your chat with Radovid. Um, yeah, let's go. No reason to delay it. Follow me then. Halt! We're here to meet King Radovid. Have you been granted an official audience? Um. We have information about the Kingslayers. Everyone knows the killer is the Witcher from Rivia. Oh, really? Then everyone is wrong. Not my concern. I cannot risk placing the King of Redania in harm's way. We bring Radovid news that will strengthen his position during the talks. Care to risk his wrath? Besides, this camp is swarming with soldiers. We'd have to be stupid or suicidal to attack Radovid. Hmm. Pass, then, if your news is so important. But one word from the king and you'll hang. Both of you. Don't you worry about us. That was easy. If we were suicidal, then the king would be dead. Or if we had magic, I guess. We could teleport our ourselves out of here. Tamaria stands little chance of surviving if Radovid has made terms with Kedwin. Even less if he's made a pact with Nilfgaard. He and the Emperor could divide the entire north between them. 
I'd take pleasure in seeing Kedwin picked apart. But they'd start with the country deepest in chaos, so you'd best hope nothing of that sort has happened. So much politics. The White Wolf! I can't believe it! Listen, just as I thought. I remember when he rode to Vizima. Did you request an audience with the king? Yes. The king will receive you. <laughs> that was easy. Go, Vernon, slowpoke. Wow, talk about the silent conversation. Geralt of Rivia. Your Majesty. As usual, you turn up where and when you're least expected. And in such company. I never thought they'd make a soldier out of you. Ah. Uh. Vernon Roach is a friend. He's in uniform, sure. But that's meaningless. The world has changed greatly since we met those few months ago. Temeria stands at the brink of civil war. Kedwin has taken the Ponsar Valley by force, and a Nilfgaardian delegation plays a prominent role at the summit of the Northern Kingdoms. Voltest and Demavend are both dead. Though it seems we were signing treaties just yesterday. Okay. What's the delegation from Nilfgaard doing here? Hensult invited them. Shillard Fitzestelen would never miss an opportunity like this one. He'll come to the talks and stage his favorite drama. Why did you bring the Knights of the Order here, Your Majesty? The Order of the Flaming Rose is here to ensure that the talks remain peaceful. We wish to avoid a second Thanet. All right, so they just like the... Mediators. I've come here for help, Your Majesty. Wait, Witcher. Were it not for you, Hensolt would have perished at the hands of an assassin. Am I right? I killed a would-be assassin. Pure coincidence. I just happened to be there. Things like that oft seem to happen to you. Enough about Hensult. You said you needed help, Witcher. Tell me more. Um... Has King Hensult arrived? <sighs> He's been talking about his great victory at Vergen ever since. Bastard. If Temeria is in turmoil, then who has arrived to represent it? Constable Natalis, the hero of Brenner, which is good. His presence is like a slap on Shillard's face delivered by the North. Sheila de Tanzerville is behind the murderers that hit Tamaria, Edern, and Kedwin. How do you know? Um. Well, I could be brutally honest. Ah, uh, Jesus, I'm not sure. We killed one of them in Edern. Deathmold used his magic to give me a glimpse of the past. I saw the assassin talking to others. They spoke of Sheila. One mage's magic shows another's guilt. And it's no ordinary magic, but the forbidden path of necromancy. It all makes sense. Shillard Fitzestelen warned me about a plot. Apparently, Triss Merigold confessed to him that the sorceresses had set up a secret lodge. Triss is working with Shillard? She's been detained as a suspect. Shillard believes the sorceresses of Nilfgaard were also part of the conspiracy. Luckily, the entire amphitheater is under a spell that quells any magic. Oh. Otherwise, no one would dare go near all those mages. Well, the talks beckon. Everyone wants to see Tamaria's bitter end. What do you mean by that, Your Majesty? The nobles are rebelling in Vizima. 
Lacking a ruler, they simply want to divide the kingdom into provinces. Tamaria separates the north from Nilfgaard. In the hands of local barons and warlords, it will be nothing more than a means for the Nilfgaardian cavalry to gain momentum. Hensult wants Redania and Kedwin to partition it. For shame! I have no choice, unless we help each other, Witcher. Anais, the daughter of Louisa and Foltest, lives still. After Foltest's death, the Lavalettes came to prominence. Louisa's uncle, Baron Orville, became one of the most important people in Tamaria. He wanted to see Anais on the throne, but Vizima was still in turmoil. They sent her to Lochmuin anyway to declare her queen before the entire north. During the journey, the girl was kidnapped. Arian Lavalette asked me to use my connections to find his sister, which I did. My people tell me Anais is here in Lochmuin, in Deathmold's hands. I cannot mount an armed attack on the Kedwenis. It would be tantamount to declaring war, and we have gathered here to maintain peace. A lone witcher and a former soldier. That would be a different matter. Bring me Anais, Geralt. And I'll salvage a united Temeria, and punish those whose hands are stained with the Temerian king's blood. Just as a normal peace treaty, then. <laughs> I mean, we can barely hope for for anything better. What about Sheila? Easy, Witcher. I have ways to deal with impertinent sorceresses. I have managed to tame Philippa Eilhart. Why shouldn't I do so with Sheila de Tanzaville as well? The girl is most important, Witcher. I denounce our engagement and make her queen of Redania and Tamaria. The nobles of Vizima would greet her on bended knee, and the North would emerge stronger than ever. I must attend these talks, Geralt. Time is short. Bring me the girl, the two of you. Men without country or commander. Renegades that no one seems to have taken into account. I, in turn, promise that Shilla de Tanzaville will pay for her deeds. I shall punish her with fire and steel. An alliance okay. with Redania is our only chance of preserving Tamaria's independence. It's still risky. Anais, she's the key. I still wonder about Busi's death. The boy would have had a stronger claim to the throne. Maybe Anais can tell us something. It's high time we visited our old friend, Deathmold. The Emperor's men hold Triss. They'll get everything they can out of her, after which she'll be dispensable. If it's between the Sorceress's life and Temeria's future, then I've no choice. I'm sorry. This is no place to talk. Let's wait till we're beyond the gate. All right. Uh, well, I got a quest marker, just... Greetings, whoever you are. <laughs> um... A quest marker here, apparently that's just, you know, one of those return to quest giver sort of marker. Uh, right, there was a lot of information to gather there. Um, didn't really grasp all of it, but um, uh, I'm Something sure it'll, it'll come into light eventually. And uh, no matter, the Redanian king is on our side uh, helping us with this plot. Uh, He's keeping what do you want here? his eyes on Sheila, and uh, we are to try to f free Anais from um, from death mold and uh, and Hanselt. the Kedwenians. I'm just following uh, following Rosh here because. Really. The kid when he camp won't be easy. I'd say the same for the Nilfgaardian camp. You need to make up your mind. If you choose what's personally important, well, I won't agree, but I'll respect it. Explaining who's behind the regicides is not just my business. And the Nilfgaardian camp is where I think we'll learn the truth. The regicides are part of the past. Tamaria's future is what counts. And you have to decide what's more important to you. Okay. I'll go investigate the Kedwenny camp. Look for a way in. Find me there when you make up your mind, but don't take long. All right. Mm -hmm. 
Shit, what do you mean? Go save Tris or help Rush recover Fox's children? Is that an exclusive choice? No, why would that be an exclusive choice? The hell is this? In part here. Uh, I can't choose. Well, yes, I can choose. I'm definitely thinking about saving trees before ever anything else. What's going on here? Barbarian. Why is there a quest icon here? Oh well, uh, let's have a look at the map. Oh, we haven't seen it before. Right, so the city is sort of a circular city. Still have this area to discover. This is where we came in. Fortimea, Sheila Fisazelen, Fortimea, Vernon Roche. Shit. I don't like these exclusive choices. Oh, and here we got some, uh, some notices. Gargoyle contract. Really? Mighty Numa's challenge. Ah, I know Mighty Numa. He's the arm wrestler. Um. Right, he's just showing you to, to uh, the hairdresser. Uh, but yeah, okay. Greetings. So there's a few side quests here, which are going to be very quick and easy, and we're going to do them anyway. But, uh, okay. I'm going to leave it here, guys. Um, I have to think about the choice. But I'm pretty sure I'm going to go with Triss. I mean, I really like Raj, and, uh, but he's... And I really would like to kill Demavend. No, not Demavend. Uh, De Death Mold. But... Uh, but it can't come at the cost of losing trees. Oh, that's the thing I dropped. I, I don't want it. So, um, so I'm pretty sure I'm gonna go go for trees. The hero of Visima. I'm sure we'll be able to save Anais anyway. I mean, she seems like an important person. But okay, I'm gonna leave it here, guys. And uh, thanks for watching. See you guys next time.